no, 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 too far, too far, too far, no, no. <laughs>
Mostly boring stuff, Tadpoles. if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. Oh. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's Cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. Later. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Kids playing. It's like different languages. Hiya. 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 Okay, I'll go this way first. <gasps> no! <laughs> it was a beautiful view. A stranger in our halls. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best our. to assist you. Please tell us what <laughs> brings you here. Um, I told him that Maddie I was told me. For my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. That'd be perfect. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it. If you return our Fred to us. Okay. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. Oof. We apologize. Yes. It is true that we want to keep her safe. Yes. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. I need to see where she and goes. Go to the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Oh, she dived. Be safe. She dived. How does she do that without killing herself? I got a third one. Look at all these tadpoles. Oh, that's so cute. They're so cute. Oh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? I know, right? Psst. 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 Was it something else? Maybe. No, no! Don't kill me! Don't kill don't kill me! Don't kill me! <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. Oh, five that way. Five. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's this say? I wish I could read that. I don't know. Maddie? Wait, if Maddie could read it, maybe Hi. I could go back. I'm glad you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know. Won't ever hey. do anything new. That's the same book that was on, uh... It feels better when Fred is around. Well, in that area. I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. 
They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the strays. Really? But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, don't move when the eye is open. Don't I move think. when the eye is open. I wonder what it means. Whatever. Maddie? You should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? Okay. It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. <clears throat> I didn't even turn. You're not going to drop me, right? Maddie, okay. translate this for Let's me. Let's go. Trans Madeline climbed up on my back. And with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. Sweet. Okay, translate this for me over, over yonder. Translate this. Translate. Please. Okay, whatever. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. That's they creepy right there, right? long and twisting. Almost like someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. I just bumped my head on the... Ah! On the ceiling. Well, old life, let us start anew. Cool. The Straits were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. <laughs> the stories differ a bit. All right. We, we made it. Yes. Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us everywhere in the cave. The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. Yes. Maddie is a great companion. Beware of what? Woo! Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh what no. was that? I had never heard a creature oh. sounding as terrifying. And I imagined it wouldn't be happy about visitors. Come on, make it, make it, make it. It yes. is really dark down there. It You're is. You're not scared, are you? Where am I going? Because I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not scared, Maddie. I'm not scared. I will be your hero. Where am I going? <gasps> I'll be your hero. I'm calling up for a hero in the morning light. Gotta be true and it's gotta be fast. And he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. So this part gets a bit confusing. I can see. Fred's been with my people since the first villager was born. He helped us build the village, taught us how to speak, and helps us with everything. He taught me how to read and write as well. That's how I could learn to read the writing on the wall. Woo! Holy smokes! Ah, back. Get back. I actually want to test out what happens if I move. I really want to test this out. Whoa. Whoa, dude. I think I figured out what I that writing was going on about. Maybe we shouldn't charge right out in front of that thing. No, I'm gonna charge. I'm Remember gonna do it. Remember what it said. Don't move when the eye is open. We're dying. We're dying, Maddie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Maddie. <gasps> oh, that's it. 
Just a simple roar? That's all it does? It just roars you to death? It doesn't come and attack you? Are you serious? You're, you're a wuss. You're a puny. You, yeah, you. I'm like moving right in front of you, you idiot. Yeah. Seriously. How idiotic is this? Yeah, you. You. I'm right in front of you. Look, fingers wiggling and everything. Go to sleep. You you disappoint me. Seriously. Yes, we did it. You're awesome. I knew you had it in. I you. am awesome. That was close. Let's go in here. We had made it through, and I felt like nothing could stand in our way. Nothing. Of finding Fred. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That was ridiculous. That thing. That thing could do nothing to me. Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. Oh, welcome home. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This is it. This is where the Strice built their village. And what a beautiful place they chose. Just look at the sky. It is so big. Holy smokes. It was a relief to finally feel the sun on my face and the gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. <laughs> yes. Hey, let's play a game. No, I no, Maddie. But you can't get through this part without using the grass. No, device. Maddie. No. I already did this. I. It took me a long time. No. We're finishing the story. <laughs> Told you you couldn't do it. You're not doing it, Maddie. You're not going to do it. Let's do it here. Oh, yes. what's that? The what's boots. What? Look, couldn't you wear those? With this addition, the suit felt at least 20% cooler. So this way it was super difficult and I didn't have to do it. It was just for one of those secrets, which I'm not going to care about right now. Sweet. Now you got to try them out. Yes, I do. <laughs> this is awesome! I know it is! It was awesome. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies, <gasps> never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. I kind of wasted <laughs> that. I guess I just described it, didn't I? Uh, don't get too close, don't get too close, don't get too close. If I bump into it, it messes up the flow. All right, I see where I got to go. Woo! Yes. We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. <gasps> the strays from Maddie's stories. 
I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. Come on! Come on! Yes! Cool! Those must be the strays! I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Okay, cool. Alright. Maddie. I'm here. Hi guys. Whoa. I'm Maddie from the village. And this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing. I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin. This is Ingo. And that's Tommy. This guy's strolling up on me. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay. But not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. Truly. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself. Like this lamp. Woo. You made that? Awesome. I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountain. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there, though. So I ain't following. There is a Zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. It's a wonderful town. Look at this. Look at all of this. Look at this. I'm following you, Maddie. I, I hear noises that way, but I follow you, Maddie, because I, because I, I love you. Hey! I love you, Maddie. I love you. Hey! You're not even moving your lips, Maddie. That's a beautiful, over here. beautiful floating island over there. <clears throat> Let's go find that thing. Those people were so nice. They, they didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. I wish that were true to Maddie. You deserve that. Hey! 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 This is dangerous! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, land, land it, land it, land it. Oh, gosh. You know what to do. You know what to. Uh, <laughs> almost, almost messed that up. Quickly, oh. grab a hold of that crate. Okay. Woo! Look at the world! Woo! Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it stopped for me when, when I was on it. Oh, it's dropping it off. Cool. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. I guess this is our ride, right? Look at that, that person. Maddie, what? What's going on? Good day. Here's a boat to ice cave. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. I don't want to go back to the outpost. Maddie, come on. Um, I um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I I don't know if I should go with you. Why? I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maddie. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and they did. accepted me for who I am. 
kind of yes. like you. I want to be with you too and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. Whatever you wanted. I just never thought about it until now that maybe, maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out, mm. somewhere to be free. Your company and I know was that if anyone enjoyed. can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. I will. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Glad I met you goodbye, too, Maddie. Friend. friend zone. Bye. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. I'm gonna miss you, Maddie. Even though you're a frog. Even though you're a frog kind of hot oh yeah and I'll miss you bye Maddie bye bye Maddie bye Maddie I'm, I'm here right bye bye Maddie there was a dampness in the air that reminded me bye. of the hot summer nights back home bye but as the sun was setting I could Maddie. feel the chill creeping up on me bye the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second wow. ice age winter Bye. is coming wow i'm going to miss that girl okay That was a oh no 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 oh I messed up there oh, made it. When I drained the crystal, I suddenly felt the earth starting to move beneath my feet, and my mind wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of power to keep their cities afloat. I decided it was best to hurry back the way I came before this whole room came apart. Yes! Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this this was really tough for me the first time. Woo! I made it. Gosh, that was tough. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I feel awesome. I don't know where I gotta go yet, but Bow.
Bow, bow, bow. Yes, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yes. I landed hard and felt the impact vibrate through my body. Oh, I hate this part. Protected me, but it was in bad shape. The rocket boots were worst off. The crash had ruined the functionality completely. I knew that if I stayed here to fix them, I would probably freeze to death. I had no other choice than to press on. Yeah, the boots don't work anymore, guys. I found another one of Fred's campsite, noticeably newer than the others. The fire was still smoldering, and Ooh. I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. I was closing in on him. I could feel it. Yes. He had left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. That should do it. Good as new. Ooh, so close. Ha huh, ha! Huh, whoa! Not too far. Not too far. Don't do that. Fred had come this yes. way alone too. I took some comfort in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them too. Yes. And beaten them. You beat them. If he could do it, I could do it too. Oh, no! Come on! Give me some ground. Where's the next area? Okay, just leap of faith, guys. Leap of faith! Look at that giant well over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh. What? Holy smokes! Woo! It was dark all around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, yeah. This is an amazing game, guys. What's going on here? I can't run anymore. <gasps> There's a person over there. Look who it is. Uncle Fred. Hello? Uncle Fred. I finally found him. My little boy, I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. Oh, I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. D do you remember the eggs I found before? Oh, yeah, I do. I sent them here by accident. And I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These frog eggs, were little empty. tadpoles, cute. But my experiment has made them the frog life. people. I've conducted research. Building the village, a fantastic crystal. About them. Maddie took my picture. Maddie. Nighttime in the village. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie. How we came all the way to Starhaven together. And that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. Yes, I Madeline. How did you forget her? 
I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. And then I left her. I wanted to protect her. Did you? Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I have changed my mind. Yeah, we're right I'm not going home. Why what not, does Uncle? research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry. Can I stay forever, as Uncle? As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I okay, was going uncle. to miss my uncle. Bye, I uncle. Miss you too, but I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. We'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. Thank you, uncle. This thing looks like a mess. Only enough power for one jump. What happens if, uh, bye, Unc? I don't want to go home. But bye. bye. That says Madeline, is it? I don't know what that says. Can I go back? Can I? No, I can't. I have to jump. All right. All right. I understand, game. I understand. I understand. This beautiful... This beautiful life is not mine anymore. Take care, uncle. Take care, Theo. And now we're back. Dear Fred, Today, I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. Everything's put away. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure. And Nothing on the walls. Me. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff. But she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. I see it right here. Sad. Wow, he hasn't come back since. I grew up without my uncle. For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, what? asking me to get you this tool or that. Can you imagine? Uh, like my character's mom is his sister. His sister has not seen her brother or knows anything that happened to her brother in years. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? After all these years. Can you imagine being being the the family member who doesn't know where Uncle Fred disappeared to? Only this guy knows. Uncle Fred, thanks to you. I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love, your nephew. I hope this picture really reaches Uncle Fred so he can see that I grew up and I have a daughter. And I named her Maddie. <laughs> uh, wonderful game, guys. Uh, I really like this game. If you haven't played it, it's pretty fun. A story about my uncle. Go check it out. And that's that. 
no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Bye-bye.